What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. Welcome back to another... I'm getting a phone call at this time. My apologies. Um, <laughs> Yeah, welcome back. It is episode 46, and today we're going back to the docks. Uh, I got a few different things planned. Uh, a dock house. I don't want to spoil it just yet. We'll get to that, but... Um, yeah, welcome back to the survival. Also, today is a no texture pack day. I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but some, some kind of update went down, and now the texture pack is not working. I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, let me go sleep. What's up, chicken? I love how he's just stuck in that tube. It's fantastic. Anyways, uh, yes, so to the surface we go. Uh, I'm gonna go over to the docks, and I guess we'll do the to-do list from over there. Um, we can see what's up, but today is gonna be a big day. Yeah, so thank you guys, thank you guys for coming. I think today we're gonna have a guest star. Uh, this dude doesn't have a name, but it's the Red Parrot. He's looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. The color's just so nice, so nice. So he'll be our little companion today as we work on the dock. So, uh, why don't I get down to the to-do list? Oh, 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 but first, can I sink this into the chicken place? I did. I actually made that. I don't I don't think it spawned a chicken though. <laughs> so like I said, today we're going to be building a dog house, but I I also want to decorate the dog house, of course. Uh and then I want to add a special twist to the dock lighting. Uh, that was suggested, so I want to try that. And then the final thing of the day, um uh, I want to make some turtle armor. It was one of the suggested comments. And I think it's a brilliant idea, so I'm going to be trying to do it for the first time in today's episode. So I think the first thing we're going to do is the lighting. I, I think it's I think it's a good idea. So what you guys were suggesting, uh, the few of you that were saying this, is instead of using the torches uh, on the fence like I did on the farms, why don't we add, like, daylight sensors? Because I haven't used them yet, and... I guess I'm never going to use them until you guys convince me to. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about them. But I think it would be really cool. So what I want to try to do is hook them up to these redstone lamps. Okay. So you're already making it difficult. Yeah? You're not gonna, you're not gonna move, are you? Okay. Yeah, so I think just replace that like that. Okay. And, and then put the daylight sensor on the top. Now it does look straight. Well, that isn't... Oh, I have to invert it? Yeah, okay, I was about to say, that isn't working properly. But yeah, so there we go, that is the lighting system. Now, it looks kind of strange, right? So I'm thinking, maybe I just cover the lamp? Oh, I can't do it on that side, though. Interesting. Oh, wait a second, what if I just don't do it on some of the sides? Does that look good? I don't know. I do not know. Is it cool to just leave them like this, and then maybe I strip that? Oh, okay. But what if it's a darker stripped wood? What, 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 should, what should I try? Something that matches that. And I'm thinking it's gonna be dark oak. So, so I got the dark oak here. The stripped dark oak wood and we can try. That matches. That matches perfectly. So I think it's gonna look better uh, than what we just had. Now I gotta get all this situated again. But it should be easy. Should be easy. We just gotta go around uh, getting rid of the torches. And having a little upgrade. That looks good. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. That looks really good. Um, I still haven't gotten rid of all the torches, though. I, I just realized that. I think I want to keep torches uh, over on these. Just so it looks like the dock area has the good lighting. This, I need to switch, right? Yeah. There we are. Um, okay. I think that is done. So we got the redstone lighting. That wasn't that bad. And I think it looks good. I think it looks really, really good. It just gives it a nice glow. Oh, I missed another one. Now, of course, one thing I got to do is uh, I forgot to switch those pillars. So I got to do that. Um, but I, I think I'll just do that later. So let us move on to the next thing I want to do, which is, of course, this uh, this big build right here. This is where the dock house is gonna be. So I wanna set up, uh, I guess, the boundaries for it, uh, and then we'll get going from there. Um, hopefully this works out. Okay, so I think I've figured out a platform and I'm just gonna start building and hopefully figure something out that looks good. Uh, that is, that is the plan. That's usually the plan. So, uh, let's see, can I figure this? Oh, okay. So maybe just connect these 
just kind of trying to figure something out. Then, how about a little pillar like that? Okay, I like that. Oh, not not there. Thank you. Yeah, something like that. And and then we can what we can do is we can bring this over to this pillar uh, and bring this pillar up as well. Do this around the same height, maybe one taller. Uh, and then that would probably go up one taller. Okay, I like that. Then we'll come over here and do the same thing. So the idea would be, uh, l let's just say over here we have a staircase that goes up th uh, to this area. Oh, okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? So stairs up to here, uh, and, and then I guess we can bring this across like so, uh, and maybe do the same uh, on the outside here. So we're just gonna connect all of these and this will basically be where the porch goes. Gotta do a little bit of excavation here. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, so the next step after this would be to make the roof kind of structure, or not the roof, but the but the walls, so that I can put up a roof. So I'm thinking uh, maybe do something a little bit out of the ordinary and build a kind of arch roof. Not bad, not bad at all. And then I think the, the one back here, I wanna do the same exact thing, but maybe this one, yeah, I already did it on accident. Maybe make this one one taller. So that'll be the main building, I, I think. So that'll be the under uh, under a roof inside of some walls. And then out here is a porch. But maybe I could keep the same uh, roof over a little bit of the porch. Make it like a, a porched-in area with a roof. It could be cool. Could be cool. So I think if I bring this... Well, let me see. How... How do I go about this? Do I, hmm. Let me just add a pillar right here, uh, and then this pillar can go up to the same height as this, which would be, is that one more? Yeah, one more, there we are. So uh, so what, what I'll do is I'll just bring the roof on over this, and then bring it down to there. In fact, let me do the roof right now, uh, and then I'll show you guys what it, ends up looking like. So there's a start. That looks decent. It looks all right. So we'll leave that roof, but it's not complete just yet because I got to extend it. So um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but it shouldn't be too bad. All I should have to do is bring this over like that, uh, bring this across like so, and then I might chop that one. Um... No, I won't. <laughs> and then I'll bring this over and basically continue uh, continue the same pattern. And then over here, I, I think I just wrap it around like that, uh, and then maybe take that one off. Yeah, I don't I don't think I need that high uh, that high of a pillar. So we could just do something like that, cap it off, and that should be good. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And now I, I should probably uh, start to fill in the floor, so why don't I do that right now? And I think I could add a little bit of a variation here. I just want to see, what does this look like? I'm gonna like if, uh, yeah, okay, that needs to be spruce. I'll get that in a second. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and fill this floor in as well. I should have fences. There we go. All right, let's get these fences in. So I'll just have a nice fence to actually... No, I won't. I will not have a fenced in porch. I want to use... I want to use the trap doors. So I'm going to go grab some of those. Um, unless I have any. I have 20. How convenient is that? So I'm just gonna put these guys down um, and basically use these as a railing instead. And they're gonna allow me to have a little bit more space in here uh, for building, which will be good. It's gonna be good. Very useful stuff. So I can do that out here as well. Uh, and then maybe bring it around like this and then possibly do uh, maybe three out on this side and one in. Can I get out of here? There we go. Okay. Um, and let's finish that off. Perfect. And just like that, we are done. Just got to clear out that extra scrap wood and we have a fenced in porch or a railed in porch, I guess this is more, more like a rail anyways. <laughs> so, uh, we can continue on with the floor construction here. Now, now, uh, something special. Something special happens. A little bit of decoration. So we'll get a chair there. I don't have signs, but we'll get signs in a second. Um, what else? What else? Ooh, maybe against 
the house. Oh, that's not where I wanted. Against the house, we can have a, a little flower pot. And then the house, obviously, uh, is going to be here. So let me just go ahead and throw down a little bit of a wall. Um, okay, that's something. That's something. I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And then we pop a window right there. Then the rest of the house, I want to try a little bit of a strange thing. Yeah, I want to I wanna see what this looks like. So what if I put stairs uh, around the whole house, like upside down stairs? Can I... Can't get around this way. Nope. <laughs> so this might be good. I, I I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, I do have to get rid of all this scrap wood though. Um, but there we go. One step closer. And then above that, I, I just want to use regular uh, regular planks. Uh, and then we can just get windows in, make it nice and sunny and welcoming. It should be lovely. And the windows can just go uh, right here. So so there's a window there. And then maybe above the windows, I'll put upside down stairs just to give the windows a little more character. So we'll do that. So now I'm going around and I'm trying to add a little bit of flair, you know, some accents to this build. So uh, just adding buttons here and there. Also, there should be a log there. Not sure. Not sure what that's about. Let's get that right there. Then what did I have? These. Okay. So the trap door can go right there like a window shutter. Uh, and then I can also stock this up with grass. So we'll do that. And then I'll probably try to have like a pot there. Um, so we can definitely make that work. Now I, I can throw the door in and it will basically be done. Oh, there's the door. That took a little while to find. Um... Yeah, let's just throw that right there. Or right there. Yeah, no, right there is a little better. So, uh, we'll leave that the way it is. And we're getting closer here. Uh, let me grab these buttons. What if I do something? Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. And you can also use this button if you want to. You don't really need to. There's no point. But <laughs> uh, you always have the option. So, there we go. Uh, a little bit of decoration there. And then we have the room in here. But if we go downstairs... It's empty, and that's about to change. Uh, what I want to do is just fill it up with this spruce and cobble, spruce and cobble, stone brick and cobble, and make ourselves a little bit of a basement. And just like that, we've got ourselves a basement. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get out of here, actually. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and finish off the wall. So I think uh, this, this depth is good. We could just put a floor down and uh, have ourselves a little bit of a basement chamber. So the house is very small. Uh, this dock house is very small, but it should get the job done. Okay, now, now I gotta break myself out. And is that, that's not the way to go, is it? No, oh, actually I can get out this way. Maybe I could have a little door into the basement. Hmm? Possibly? Like, you go down here, there's a little door into the basement. Just thought of this now, but that could be cool. This could be cool, so just pop it open like that. A little door into the basement. And we'll also have uh, a ladder too. But that is nice. I did not think about that, but I like it. And I, I guess we can throw the door down right away. So let's just put that right there. Uh, and now what we can do is get all of this grass out of the way uh, and get some uh, some logs down. Not some logs, some slabs. Uh, but if I have torches, which I do, I can use hidden lighting. So if I, if I just put a torch in the ground, like, uh, under these slabs, it should light up the room a little bit. Yeah, 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 that should do the trick. And now, even if I cover it all up, we'll be good. Basement is now done. Um, and all it needs is a ladder. And decorations, of course. But I believe... As far as structure goes, we're done. We are done with this house looking good. Now, time for the decorations. Um, I just gotta do a little brainstorm and think of stuff. Well, all right, I, I think I have an idea. So we'll just start with this, the kelp. Uh, I think it makes sense. You know, it's a dock house. It, it should have a little bit of kelp, so why don't we do uh, a little bit of kelp like that, and then maybe uh, we could put some of these flower pots on top, just to make it look like uh, they're used for storage or something. I like the way that looks. Now, I definitely need a torch. Let's just uh, put one right there for now. Um, then over here, I have some flowers uh, I can use, and I also, I also could use a flower pot. What if I put... Oh, that looks good. 
Let's just put a flower pot right there. I, I, I like that. I like that. Then I, I think I want to get rid of this, just because it looks a little bit too similar to that. Uh, and instead, we'll put a fern down. And then another flower right there. That could be good. I also got our signs that we needed. So let me throw a sign right there and another right there. We got ourselves a nice little chair on the porch. Then maybe, maybe I have... Uh, hmm. Maybe an armor... Hmm? Where do I want to put the... Right here. Right here. An armor stand right there. Uh, and then over here, I could have some chests, maybe for storage, and then possibly a ladder right there to look like mini shelves, almost. You gotta imagine. You gotta really use your imagination uh, on that one. And why don't we kick this out? Because I have an idea for over here, too. I, I think I could use... Yeah. Yep, yep, exactly what I was thinking. So a little shelf space right there. Uh, and then maybe we can bring this along uh, this as well, uh, along the back end. Hmm, hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. And then on the inside, on the inside, I obviously need to have a trap door here and then a ladder. Uh, let's put the ladder on that wall, uh, and that should be good enough to get up. Uh, and then in here, why don't we just, I guess, Throw a chest. Uh, we could put a chest right there, and then maybe, uh, maybe something. Uh, another one of these. Another one of these guys. We'll do. Yep, just like that. And then, oh, did not mean to do that. On the top, we can we can put a little zombie head. So if I get that right, there we go. There we go. So now if we go downstairs, um, uh, and the hidden lighting works. It works. That's lovely. I, I still think I want to have one torch down here. So why don't I just. Uh, get a little thing here. Match the, uh, it matches the ladder. Did not anticipate that. That's nice. Have a little storage area right there. Uh, and then over here, I was thinking maybe having a little, uh, cooking station. Uh, and then maybe I can have an anvil right there. Looking nice. Uh, and then possibly some paintings. Uh, so let me see if I can, uh, get one maybe right above the anvil. Just a single painting. Like that, and then maybe one more next to the door. Right here. This is a good spot, and we'll put one right here. How about that? Uh, okay, I don't like that one. What about, yep, that one I like. That one I like a lot. Oof. That's tough. That's really tough. Okay, this looks good. Uh, now, uh, one other thing that I want to do is I just want to break a few random ones of these uh, and get some cracked stone in as well. So let me do that. And then maybe, uh, maybe for the finishing touches, we add some more of those on top just to, you know, uh, fade the color a little bit better. Uh, and then I'm also thinking we need to throw some glass in the windows. Forgot to do that while I was up here. So let's, uh, let's get that done in um, one short. You know what we could use? Uh, we could have used a fence there if I had one, so I gotta get an another uh, glass thing. And then finally, a little uh, item frame there. And then that is where I can keep my fishing rod. So my uh, my good fishing rod with all the enchantments can just stay right in there, and I can just grab it when I need it. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Not that bad at all. Ooh, that's nice. And then over here, I think I want to put a torch down here, just so you kind of see that there's definitely something, and then you want to come down here, and you see it's a door. Uh, this needs to go, though. This needs to just be uh, the normal spruce, so let's do that. And uh, one final thing, one final thing. Down here, I had an idea uh, to spruce up the floor a little bit. Literally, actually, we're gonna spruce up the floor. Uh, I wanna see if I can do something like that. That looks good. I like it, and we'll do the same on this side as well. There we are. Looks cool, I'll take it. So, um, with that, we are done. And I think the only thing that I really need to do uh, is is make a chimney. So I want to do that really quick, and then I think we have ourselves a finished boathouse. Well, folks, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that the decorations are complete on our dock house. Now, the only thing I need to do now is is continue the path, make it connect properly, and then make the area around this place look a little bit nicer. Uh, like plant maybe a tree over there, maybe a tree right here, uh, bone meal a little bit. Also, for some reason, the, the leads are not showing. They're just invisible, which is kind of strange. Uh, I should probably try to uh, go about fixing that. But this is looking solid. So one last tour. 
four, we got this area. Uh, this is where we'll have our turtle shell armor once we uh, get it eventually. Uh, this stuff, seaweed kelp, all stacked up together. Uh, over here, we got our little room, and then if we go inside, um, we got a nice little cooking area where you can cook the fish and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is the whole deal. Not too bad. So now all we gotta do is get that turtle armor. And and I think I know how to do it. You just gotta get some baby turtles. And I'm pretty sure they drop them. But let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. You could just peek it through there. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, oh. That looks nice. And I should also probably try to update the map and see what that thing uh, looks like on the map. But that is an awesome view of it. So every time you run over, you see the big old chimney. It's the dock house. And then you see the dock as well. I like it. I like it. So, that is that. Let's, uh, let's head back on into the cave. This looks so strange without the connected textures. That's wild. I kind of like it, though. I, I kind of like how this looks. Anyways, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. So let's go up to the turtle, the turtle area. It should be over in this direction. Yes, perfect. Uh, by the way, I still did not finish the roof. I need to do that. And this, it doesn't look that nice. We gotta, we gotta make this look a little nicer. But it, it, I, anyways, anyways. I got some turtle eggs. I got some turtle eggs. I've been collecting them uh, every now and again. Uh, sometimes you see them up here, and I decide I want to collect some. So I got some for the video here. Now, what I believe happens, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure the baby turtles, for example, I'm sorry, but I got to kill one of these guys. So if I kill one, all right, so he's dead. He did not drop any baby, baby shell things. That's because you need the babies. So, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do this this episode. <laughs> I just realized this is going to take a while. Maybe I should have done this at the beginning. Because then I definitely would have had baby turtles by now. I am an idiot. <laughs> so now we wait. That's all we can do, folks. Uh, it, it'll be quick for you. But for me, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I do not believe <laughs> I'm going to be able to wait this whole episode because I've already been recording for a long time and these things are going to take like 30 minutes. But, but, uh, oh, oh, a little crack right there. Okay, I guess they're starting. Um, but yeah, what they would do is a baby turtle will crawl out of this and once it grows up, it drops a skewt, which is like... A little turtle shell piece and, and once you get five of those you can make a helmet and, and that helmet will give me extended water breathing and it'll be pretty cool it'll be pretty cool and I don't know if I can make a full ar ar like armor set I don't know why I couldn't say armor just then <laughs> at first I definitely thought that was possible uh, to make a full armor set but I don't know if they actually added that into the game so uh, we got to figure that out but uh, I will have to do that in the next episode because I cannot wait but um, you guys will see it. You guys will see it. The first thing we'll do in the next episode is get that armor, and then maybe we could go spear fishing or something. That would be fun. That would be very fun. Uh, but yeah, the only thing left to do in today's episode is put on our, uh, our new subscribers, uh, of course. The subscriber wall is now going to be filled up, so everybody's name here will go on into the subscriber book. And uh, and then we'll just restock the wall and begin once again. So today's subscribers are Muniandi Ganis, <laughs> Marchese M, Skeleton Yoshi, and Danielle Hoo Hoo. No, it's, it's supposed to be Boo Hoo. Hold on, let me just... Just fix that. Okay. Danielle Boo. -hoo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your support uh, on the series. I greatly appreciate it. So, folks, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, for, for staying tuned, especially to the end. I know it's a long one. It was a long one. But we got some work done. So, hopefully, you enjoyed. I will talk to you all in the next one. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>